Woe to you, blind guides, who say, if anyone swears by the temple, it is nothing. But if anyone swears by the gold of the temple, he is bound by his oath. You blind fools, for which is greater, the gold or the temple that has made the gold sacred? And you say, if anyone swears by the altar, it is nothing. But if anyone swears by the gift that is on the altar, he is bound by his oath. You blind men, for which is greater, the gift or the altar, that makes the gift sacred. So he swears who, by the altar, swears by it and by everything on it. And he who swears by the temple swears by it and by him who dwells in it. And he who swears by heaven swears by the throne of God and by him who sits upon it. Better. Straight. We'll see. So, good morning. Happy Thursday. I hope everybody is having a good week and is ready for another exciting day. Uh, today we're back in the Daily Lectionary uh, Office cycle of readings. We're in Matthew. We're in Matthew's 23rd chapter this morning, and Jesus is not happy with the scribes and the Pharisees. Um, so what he's accusing them of, uh, when he says, starts off saying they shut them out of heaven, um, is that they are the ones that are the keepers of the gate of heaven, as it were, or they claim to be, and they're them not recognizing Jesus as being the Son of God and the Messiah. Uh, Jesus levels charges against them. And then he also accuses them of... Uh, of of, of making different oaths and in, in, in keeping, uh, putting human laws in the way of, of God's law. Um, and so what I mean by that is there's a prohibition against any Jewish person making an oath against God. So you don't, you know, you're making, I swear to God, I'm going to do this. You don't do that in Judaism. It's serious. And every oath, every time you swear, like I swear to you, I'll be there tomorrow morning. It is legally binding. Um, and, and, and so you can't swear by God, you can't swear by religion, swear by the temple, any of that stuff. And what the Pharisees and uh, Sadducees have done, they have made loopholes in that. So you're not swearing by God, but you're swearing by certain things. And that's what he says, you know, what's more important, the gift on the altar or the altar itself. You, you know, the, the, the Pharisees would set things up where you'd swear by the, by the gift on the altar and not by the altar. So that way you're not blaspheming or, or breaking any commandment. You're, you know, keeping an oath, but what you're really doing is, you know, blaspheming or, or making an oath against God because the, the gift on the altar, you know, they it's, it's all the same thing. So, so he's really laying down uh, some hard words this morning about them rationalizing uh, re religion and sort of uh, bending it to make it suit them and then not uh, giving themselves uh, to, to God and recognizing Jesus as the Messiah. So he left hard charges this morning. Um, and so where I want us to think is uh, in the rational, rationalization because um, every sin has to be rationalized. Uh, or if you look at it, when you talk to someone who is in sin or someone who is uh, <laughs> like when I've done it, you know, I rationalize my, my behavior. Well, you know, nobody cares about this or that anyway, so I'll just, they'll do this, nobody will even notice. Or, uh, you know, we use Oreos, that's a safe one. Like, oh, I can eat a bag of Oreos because, you know, I ran this morning, I did this, did that, uh, the other thing, you know, I'm strong, I'm, I, it, it, won't, it won't affect me. You know, so we rationalize those things, uh, rationalize uh, and sort of make deals with God. You know, if you do this, I'll do that. Or God, if you get me through this test, I'll, I swear I'll do this. Um, and, and so we sort of play games. Uh, it's not unnatural for human beings to, to uh, play those kind of games with God or rationalize things. Um, and it can get you into trouble, as it did with the Pharisees and Sadducees, where they can't even recognize the Messiah that they're in the business of, of waiting on. You know, <laughs> They can't even recognize him when he's standing in front of them because they have justified, rationalized, twisted and distorted things all to where it's their own making. So that is that is not a, a good thing and not something we need to be about. So think about that today. What, what do you rationalize? Uh, how do you make deals with God? Like if you do this, I'll do that. Or, you know, how do you twist sort of religion to meet your own needs? And if you do that, 
does it blind you from Jesus? Uh, I would say, yes, it does. It has for me when I do that. So don't do it. It's not a good thing. But examine your life today. Uh, give, give some time to that on this wonderful Thursday. God bless you all. I hope you have a good day. We say prayers for each other. And we'll see you tomorrow. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen.